Hello, y'all. This is Prime Gamer uh, 3285, and I just want to make a shout out to all my subscribers. I just want to say thank you for your support, and God bless you all. Today, I want to talk about Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. And Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe came out November 16, 2008. It came out for the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. And I remember getting it for the Xbox 360. And I remember me and my friend Spence, my best friend Spence, we used to always play it, you know. And to me, it was an amazing game. I really enjoyed it. I remember seeing it at E3, you know. And it was just so many cool possibilities how... You could have like Sub Zero versus Batman, you know what I mean? Katana versus Catwoman, you know, it was really cool. This game, in my opinion, was, was definitely a great game. It was definitely a masterpiece. I feel like the game was in some ways underrated because it did get like kind of like a little low rate. I think it got like a 7 out of 10 rate. But to me, I really think it was a great fighting game. And it was the first. Um, Mortal Kombat game that just didn't feature MK characters. It featured DC characters from the DC Universe, you know, and then the, and the characters you had from the DC Universe was Batman, Superman, Green Lantern, The Flash, Wonder Woman, you know, um, uh, Catwoman, you know what I mean? You know, it has so many, like, characters it had from, from the DC Universe, you know, it had it had um, Captain Marvel and Shazam, you know what I mean? It had um, just, and then also characters from Mortal Kombat, which was Liu Kang, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, um, Sonya Blade, Jax, um, Katana, you know what I mean? This game, you know, characters like Baraka, Raiden, you know, this game had, um, it was really cool how they mixed MK the MK Universe with DC Universe, you know what I mean? You get the best of both worlds, you know what I mean? And I just felt like it was awesome. And it was the very first game Midway did that was a versus, you know, game, you know what I mean? And it was like an amazing crossover between the Mortal Kombat Universe and the DC Universe. And I want to know from my subscribers, did you enjoy this game? I really enjoyed it. I felt like in some ways it was underrated really get a good score because I remember to this day some people was down in the game and ain't on the game but to me I enjoyed it and I guess it's basically the eighth Mortal Kombat game I think it's basically Mortal Kombat 8 you know it was basically it was going to be Mortal Kombat 8 but they end up making it Mortal Kombat versus DC you know it's the eighth Mortal Kombat game you know and um I really like the character's design, like Sonya Blade, I love her design, I love Sub-Zero's design, I love, the, you know, Batman, Superman's design, you know, it's just amazing how they had all their moves, and they implemented that into the game, also they added new features, which is Rage Mode, which is like a mode, you have like invincibility, you know what I mean, and you do a lot of like, it makes you faster, it makes you move quickly, also, they had the, uh, I think it was like an air combat combination code, um, combination move that they had in the game, you know what I mean, which was, the, I thought it was really cool. Also, this game featured the Joker, you know, Catwoman, Batman, Superman, Captain Marvel, and many more, you know. And I just love having matches. I used to love having matches like Batman. She's one of my favorite characters from the DC Universe. Having him against which one of my other favorite, most favorite characters from the MK Universe versus Sub-Zero. I used to love having matches like that, you know. You know, like, um, you know, be able to have matches like Sub-Zero versus Batman or Scorpion versus Batman. You know, Raiden versus uh versus superman versus wonder woman you know what i mean i thought that was cool also it was really cool how you could have katana but she's a princess in the mk universe and then you have versus versus um the um uh, versus wonder woman you know i thought that was cool you know what i mean versus the goddess princess i thought it was really cool 
know what I mean? So, it was really cool how they just added that into the game. Characters like Kano, you know, Batman, Catwoman, you know what I mean? Green Lantern, The Flash, you know what I mean? Flash was definitely one of my favorites in this game, too. You know, I really enjoyed it. And it came out 2008, November 16, 2008. And I think it was the eighth. It was the eighth game in the Mortal Kombat series. It was basically Mortal Kombat 8. They made it Mortal Kombat versus DC. And I just love how they just crossed it over. Also, this game inspired other games. Like, this game opened the door for games like Injustice, Justice 2. You know, opens the, it opened the door for many games that uh, Midway did. You know, and NetherRealm Studios did uh, later down the line, like after this game. Like, it, it opened the door for games like Injustice, which I want to talk more about that too in, in other videos, like Injustice, Injustice 2. You know, this game opened the door for those games, you know, you know, and so many possibilities. And I just want to know from my subscribers did you like this game? You know, I remember getting this game for the 360, the Xbox 360, you know. But this game was for the PS3 and the Xbox 360, you know. It was for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. And I think it was for the phone, too, the uh, Android, I think. But, yeah, but I really enjoyed this game. This game was so popular that it had a, even a comic book, you know what I mean? This game was just really cool. I can just remember watching E3 and them showing the game, and I was just so blown away by it. How you could just have Batman versus Scorpion, and it was really cool. How you, you know, so many possibilities, you know. And this was like the first game that they did that featured DC characters with Mortal Kombat characters. And this game. You know, uh, inspired other games like Injustice and Injustice 2, you know, opened the door for those games. I think if we haven't got this game, we probably wouldn't have gotten Injustice or Injustice 2, you know. Also, this game featured characters like, um, I think it had Shell Khan in it. It also had Dark Side. I think they were hitting characters in the game, you know. This game had characters like Shang Tsung, uh, Quan Chi. Joker, you know, had a lot of hidden characters. Now, I think the last boss in this game is called Something Khan. His name is Sun Khan. He's a strong character. I remember he was really difficult. Yeah, really tough boss, but it was really cool, though, you know. You know, you know this game, you know, a lot of people that I knew that uh, had this game, and they enjoyed it as well. They enjoyed it as much as I did, and my friend Spence loved this game. He used to play this game a lot, like, you know, I remember letting him borrow it, I let him borrow it, and I used to go over there and we used to play it non-stop, you know, you know, and Muffy, me, you know, his sister, we used to all play this game, you know, which was a great game, you know, it was really cool, how you had Superman, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Batman, you know what I mean? Hopefully one day they will be able we'll be able to see a sequel of this game, like another part, you know. Cause I feel like they can do they can uh, take a lot of things from that, that that they put in Injustice and put it in and put it in the sequel of this game, you know. But I think this game was basically it was the eighth game in the Mortal Kombat franchise. It was basically Mortal Kombat 8. Yeah. And I really enjoyed it. Like, it's definitely up there in my category is Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Like, I really... Because I did a review about that game, one of my older videos. You know, I really love Mortal Kombat Armageddon, you know. And I love the Street Fighter series. But this game was a great game, in my opinion. I really enjoyed it. You know, I loved the, the special moves. I loved the combos. You know, they made it really, really... You know, I felt like it wasn't stiff like that. Everything was just, was just well done. It was smooth how the characters move, and it was just an great, it was just an amazing, amazing game. It looked incredible. You know what I mean? It still looks really good to this day. You know, you know, and 
this game was definitely ahead of its time, you know. And um, it was just a big shock how, you know, what Midway did, you know, at Boom and them, like they just shocked us all with this game. This game, even the artwork, you know, the art, you know, was really cool. This game even had a special edition, you know. You know, would you get like the, the drawings and stuff? It was, you know, it was different like versions of this game, you know. And this game featured things that they put in Mortal Kombat, like the uppercut. This game also had fatalities. Had blood in it, but it was also had had DC. It also had an amazing story. You know, had a story mode. You know what I mean? It was really cool. You know, it had a you know it had a collector's edition. You know what I mean? It was really cool. And I just want to know from my subscribers that you enjoyed this game. What was your favorite character in this game? You know, was this your favorite game in the Mortal Kombat? franchise or was it one of your favorites or did you not like this game it wasn't your favorite your most favorite you know you know what i mean and, um, and i just want to make a shout out to all my subscribers and, and i just want to say uh, god bless you all and i hope you enjoy this review of this game that i'm doing you know because i like doing reviews of games and systems and and just you know I like talking about classic games, games, you know, like Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, you know. But I really enjoyed this game, and um, you know, I just hope that we one day we can get a sequel to this game, you know. This game opened a door for like games like Injustice, Injustice 2, which they are DC games, you know what I mean. So that, that's cool has so many characters like Baraka, Raiden, Sonya Blade, Katana. I have to say the only thing with this game, I felt like some characters were missing from the from the MK universe, like Melina. It would have been cool if they added Melina. Like if they make a part two of this game, I hope they add Melina. I hope they add uh, more characters like um like Reptile, you know what I mean? Like Smoke. Also, more characters from a DC universe like Supergirl, you know what I mean? Nightwing, that would be cool. That would really be cool, you know what I mean? You know, like the rock, like the characters that they have in Injustice and Injustice 2, you know, they, they add all the, the um the roster for those games and put it in these Mortal, Mortal Kombat versus DC. And it would be cool if they do it like kind of like in some ways like Mortal Kombat Armageddon, like how you could play as any character from Mortal Kombat Universe. Also, they have it when you could play as any character from the DC Universe, which would be cool. You know what I mean? Like Reverse Flash, um, Zoom, you know, the uh, regular Flash. And you could play as all the Robins, like you could play as Nightwing, you could play as Tim Drake play as Damon Wayne or the Red Hood, Jason Todd, that would be cool, you know, you could play as Batman, Batgirl, yeah, Superman, you know, Supergirl, you know what I mean, it would be cool if they make a sequel to this game, like I would be, I would definitely get it, 